Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys have finished creating the doors for your kitchen. Well, as you guys can see, once we have created these doors, we will now be going ahead to create the handles for this. So for the handles, what we're going to do is, I'm going to be creating the handles outside the door group. I will select the line tool and from here I will go ahead and I will go 0 0.02 and then I can go down in the blue direction 0 0.02 as well. So we'll have somewhere over here a point like this. Now I can easily create a rectangle over here. So we'll be creating it on the left hand side and that rectangle will be 0 0.0, 0 0.15, 0 0.02. So we will have a standing rectangle, something like this. Now once I'm done with this, I can easily select this rectangle and I can draw one line over here and another line over here at point 0 0.02. Now please understand why I have created this. I have a similar line over here as well as a similar line over here. The reason I've created this is because it becomes easy for me to now select this M control and copy from here and paste it over here. This portion of copying becomes very easy. But before I copy it, I will first be selecting this, right click and I will make it into a component. We can even select all of these lines as well and right click and make it into a component and call it handle. Now once I have done with this much, I can copy it from here and paste it over here. Again copy this from here and paste it over here and using the rotate command I can rotate this along the blue direction and I can bring it over here. The minute I have copied it like this I can now move this from here over here similarly copy this from here over here same handle I can copy now from this midpoint and bring it to this midpoint over here as you guys can see now it's up Using again rotate, I can rotate it now along the green axis and I can rotate it flat like this and bring it down, let's say 0 0.02. Now as you guys can see that I've created this much, I can easily copy this handle from this reference point now down over here, again from here to this point over here. And once we're done with this, we can select this and copy it from this midpoint now which is over here and I can copy it and paste it over here. So as you all can see, we have easily just placed our handles everywhere. But a lot of you all might be feeling, of course the last handle, if it's gone from here, we can replace it over here. And you all might be feeling, what do we do about all these extras? Well, the best part is now we can enter into this component and we can easily erase all this off. And without wasting too much of time, I can pull this out, 0.02, and over here, I can easily go ahead and take an offset of 0.01 or I can just draw a line over here 0.01 and pull this inside 0.01, go all the way down till here and go back over here. So you will see that even this is 0.01 and we can just push this behind and open it up like a handle. I can use the bucket tool and select the wood and just press Ctrl and paste it. And because this was a component, we have it in all of these places. Wasn't that as easy? Now once you are done with this much, we can select everything which includes the door group as well as all the handles, right click and make it into one single group. Now I can move this from the behind portion and take it inside and paste them over here just leaving that 0.01 gap so you can see how those grooves are now looking very stylish all these grooves are looking now once we are done with this much i can use the bucket tool by pressing b and providing wood to this portion over here and similarly over here and even if we want we can provide wood to the platform over here now once we're done with this much, I will be providing a thickness to this platform by pressing Ctrl and pulling it to this point over here as such. And once I'm done with this much, we will go ahead and put up 
the wood and the base over here as well. And I will provide a thickness to this of 0.05 as well. Now guys, once I have created this much, I will just go ahead and make a rectangle over here. Selecting this rectangle and copying it up to the midpoint over here, I will pick this up 0.025 and then from down pull this also 0.025. As you guys can see, I have created the three lines now which are basically acting like my shelves. And of course, I can select this back line and copy it in the front 0.05 and pull this throughout. Now remember, I am following this kind of portion over here. But as you can see, when I pull this up, the 0.05 line got stuck over here. To make sure that does not happen, we can press Ctrl and you can see the plus sign that has come on my push command and I can pull this all the way up to here, like this. And you can see that because of this 0.1 groove, it stopped, so we can end it by picking it up in the end. And once we're done with this, we can easily just go ahead and erase all these lines off. Now, if a line does get erased off like this, we'll just repeat one line over here and one line over here. Similarly, another line over here and pressing the bucket tool, just fill in wood. You'll know you need to learn how to manipulate your own drawings to create the best possible look. Now, as you guys can see, we have kind of finished our entire kitchen over here. The last thing that would be left would be to provide a thickness to our tiles. By pressing Ctrl, I can pick up this 0 0.02 and we will be having a thickness to our tiles. Now, of course, you can see that because we have provided the thickness, there is an overlap over here with our door. So what we will be doing for that is, I will be going ahead and pressing S after I select the door. So I will be entering into the group and pressing S. And now I can pick it up from the center point over here and just match it to the top level over here. That would ensure that my door would jump up and come up to the top point. Similarly, we can go ahead and provide a thickness to this level as well of 0 0.02 to maintain the 0 0.05 lines that we are following. Now guys, once you are done with this much, you will select the whole kitchen and make it into a group. After doing this, you will select the top point of this tiling and you can go ahead and place it inside over here. As you guys can see, we have made this entire kitchen for ourselves. Now, once you guys have created this much, we will enter into the group. And now I'm going to draw a line from here straight over here, as well as over here. Now, why have I drawn this line is because we would like to pull this portion out, making sure that this line is also generated. Or we can just join this line from here till the end over here. But because we need to make sure that it does not affect the skirting, I can just follow the periphery of this. And if you guys would have noticed, when I join this end line, this line over here starts to get light as such. And now we can easily pull this portion out till here. And you can see how that groove has been created. Similarly, we can pull this portion out till here and erase this off. Now that's something that we have created. The last thing that we will be doing is we will be creating shelves all the way till the top portion over here so that we have a lot of space for storing. Now what we will do is we will take a rectangle on this much portion only, select this rectangle and copy it up. And from here, we will copy it till this point by pressing the up arrow key. And once we have copied it, we can easily go ahead and now start selecting it from here and copying it over here. After I've copied it three times, if you want, you can add another time as well. And once we have done with this much, we can give them a thickness downwards of 0 0.05. And similarly now for all of these. 
After creating the shelf, we would like to select the behind portion over here. Copy this in the front of 0 0.05. I'm taking 0 0.05 everywhere so it's easy for you all to remember. And now we can pull this up by pressing Ctrl. Do remember it would easily go up all the way and we can take this right to the top. And you can see how easily we have created these shelves. Very good looking entire portion of our kitchen. Now the last thing I would like you guys to do is take a rectangle and just make one line from here all the way to this point over here. Similarly, take one line from here After this, what I would like you all to do is go ahead and select this line, which is basically the end line of this platform and copy it in the front 0 0.02. Similarly, over here, select this line and M control to copy it in the front 0 0.02. And now we can easily pull these up at point three and same over here and this would basically be a final tiling line which would be there over here the color combination of wood and white is something that i'm just going with but you all can of course go ahead and add a lot more now guys once you all are done with this much we will go ahead with more details in the next topic so please finish this much off and i'll see you in the next one take care